Hello everybody, it's that time of day again. We're playing indie horror games today. We're playing The Housekeeper. Let's read the description from the download page. You have been tasked to mine an old house in the woods, but something just isn't right. Enter a creepy and eerie PSX-inspired interactive horror game where you explore the depths of a dank home void of any human-to-human -human interaction. Clean the house of different substances using substances. Okay, using your different tools, interact with objects and find out what really is going on inside this house. So it's another house chore simulator. I like those. Let's begin. Scary. How to play? Movement, flashlight, interact, drop equipped item. Here should turn red when we hover something over something you can interact with. Okay, got it. Day one. Objectives and the house. Uh, okay, sorry about the mouse cursor there. We have a nice car. I guess. Enter it and go home. Can we go down this way? No. Can we go here? Oh, there's a key. This is the place. Eh, I see the key over there. Let me pick it up. Eh, you won't. Eh, you won't. Yeah, you will. I maybe have done things faster. That's an outhouse. I'm guessing this is not a very... Uh, how to say it? Rich house we have been tasked with cleaning and taking care of? Doesn't matter. A job is a job. A pay is a pay. And this is where the world ends. Okay, let's... Let's around the house. A huge dumpster for... This place. Chimney. Okay, I'm... Really? Okay, I'm guessing we're going in. Ooh, uh, Resident Evil 1 uh, loading screens. Love it. Why is my flashlight turned off? Ooh, we can use the streets? Yes, we can. We can use the radio. In more news, a 35-year-old man has gone missing in the south end of Great Falls, Montana. Ben Mendoza, described as a 5'10", brunette white male, is the third case of someone going missing around the forest and mountainscape this fall, alongside 28-year-old Grace Irving and her 7-year-old daughter Judy. Local and state police are urging Montana residents to be cautious and careful when traveling through the mountainscapes, as the heavy rain and winds throughout this time of the year have some of the worst avalanches and storms recorded in American history. Stay safe, Montana. We have Daniel with the weather after this. Fantastic! So we are in Montana apparently, and somebody has been kidnapping people who pass through this forest or whatever. I could sweep the dust with a broom. Oh, we have voice acting. And lovely voice, I must add. You can sweep the dust with a broom. I could use a mop to clean this stain. Okay. This is an unusually thick rug. Looks like I'm maybe hiding something. Eh, don't they always? Usually it's under the rug or behind the rug, not rug, or behind the bookcase. In this case is the rug, I guess. So that's the door we came from. That's the bathroom slash laundry room. Hmm. This door is locked. This door is locked. This is not. Oh, this is where our cleaning apparatus is. And this is a room. Like a closet or something. Fantastic. Let's start working. That's what we're being paid for. Mop equipped. Stain here. Stain here. Oh, you have a counter for the things you have to do. That's that's really good, actually. Really appreciate it. And stain here. And the stain there. Three more. Three more. Three more. A stain on the wall. Two more. A stain here, one more, and a stain over there. All the stains should be gone. Fantastic. So drop this and get them up. The broom, rather. We had them up. Rip dust. Boom. And boom. Can we say something about the fireplace? No. Boom. 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 No boom. Oh. Oh. Oh no no! This one was open, but that weird sound All was weird. All the dust weird. should be gone. Fantastic! And it said day one. How many days do we have to do this for? Uh, what are the plants? Yes, we have six plants to water. 
One is here. One is here. Ah, bathroom plants. That's nice. Boom. Eh. Uh, Mr. Owner not here. I haven't finished my work yet. Here. 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 No. Here. The plant should be all hydrated now. Plant hydrated. Yeah, I guess it's right. So, let's clean the cobwebs. One here, three more. One here, two more. Anything in the bathroom? Yes, one here, one more. Can we? There's like a switch for the bathroom, yes. And where is that last pesky cobweb? Here Spider we go. Spiderweb should all be gone. So we're good for now. Let's leave and go home. They... What's that a scream? I think so, yes. Back at the same place. Oh no, it's not a scream. It's like a bird or something. Back at the same place. Let's go to work. Uh, lights. There we go. Use the radio. Our guest caller, a friend of one of the victims of the latest missing persons incidents that has sprung all across the Great Falls area of Montana, Mr. John Rhymes, a longtime friend of Ben Mendoza. John, thank you so much for taking the time out of your night to call in. Tell us, how has everything been going on with the investigation? You know, it's been really hard on all of us. Especially considering there aren't any actual leads as to where, how, when, or what of anything, to be perfectly honest. It's hard to try and narrow down where someone could be, especially in this part of the state where it's so dense with woodlands and forestry. People in Ben's family are starting to think they could be foul play involved, but knowing the guy for as long as I have, I don't think anyone would have any logical reason to hurt him. But there's suckers out there, so what do I know? Very true. And as always, Montana, stay safe. We'll be back after a few messages. Okay, so people really don't know what's going on. The voice acting is actually really nice. I love it. Is that blood? Is that blood I saw there? Hmm. What is this? Ketchup stains. You should mop those up too. Hmm. This door is locked. Hmm. What is this? I just thought this is an unusual. Yeah, yeah, they're right, they're right. Hmm. Okay. Like this door is locked. Something. Let me take my cleaning tools and do my job that I'm being paid for and ignore everything else. I don't care what people do in their houses. They don't pay me to judge. They pay me to clean. And that's what I do. Even if I hmm. could clean the blood, I what cannot. Is this? Let's move on. La la la. Cleaning the stains. I won't mind the monsters or the weird adult stuff going on. La 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 la, another stain here, clean it. Anything in this closet here, just a big stain. I need one more. Where is it? Pain? Oh, there it is. La la la. All the stains should be gone. Okay, let's sweep the dust now. Dust here. And a dust here and here. And fluffy cloud dust here, no. Here. The power's gone out. I don't think I can use the lights anymore. Good thing I had my flashlight on already. And dust here. And la dust here. All the dust should be gone. Yeah. Destroyer of dust. Water the plants. And here. And here. And the closet plant, of course. And here. You. And where is my favorite bathroom? The plant plants? should be yeah. all hydrated now. Okay, let's go kill some spiders. I will ignore the demonic voices. I don't mind them. It's the voices I usually hear in my head, so... It's a welcome sound. And boom. 
bye bye spiders and the rest of it on here Ah, well, above the TV. Okay. Spiderweb should all be gone. Fantastic. Another job well done. Let's go home. Go through. It's raining tonight? It's raining heavy. I should go inside. Yeah, we should. I'm guessing everything will be okay and all things will be in place. Won't they? What the? What the hell Where happened here? I should probably look around. Investigate. Nothing from the radio. Something to say about the plants. Now, should we still do our thing and, you know, what are the plants? Dust to dust, strip to dust. Our tools are here. Like. Let's drop the duster here. Let's water the plants, for example. Can we do that? No. Oh. Somebody water the plants. Hey! I'll, I'm still getting paid, yes? Everything okay in the bathroom. At least that's something. The bookcase is, has fallen over. Hmm. There's a look. Huh? This door is locked. What's this? A basement entrance. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Let's go, I guess. Let's explore the creepy dungeon. And let's hope it's not an adult dungeon. Why am I being so risky? Why am I saying this kind of crap in these videos? The music is nice though. The atmosphere too. That's a huge basement. Are these? Dead people. Yeah. I have to get out of here. I mean, they're just dead people. Oh, oh, this corridor wasn't bloody before. Now it's really bloody, bloody. Something is chasing us. I can tell. Why do I get a feeling that we will not be able to open the basement huts? Care. What happened? Okay. What was that thing? I'm probably just imagining things. The house appears to be clean. I should just go home. Or, here's an idea. Call the police. Mm. This I door is locked. Leave. Probably leave, but... Um, I mean, there's something weird going on here. Maybe we should inform the authorities. No? Can we use the radio, maybe? No, let's go through it. Day four. Empty the car. Home. Dispose of him. Please let me go. Damn. He had it coming. Damn. Oh, we're the killer. Or we turned into the killer or something. He had a coming. You deserve that. I don't know about the rest of you, but he certainly did. So, jump scare while we going to the basement exit. No. No. I'm guessing no. Come on, hit me with a jump scare, please. No. No. Sleep. Like, on the couch? Oh, this door finally opens. Can't go down there. Think things in here. Don't. Sounds really nice. We're sorry to be in the mood down with this one, folks. 
Yet another victim has gone missing in the recent spree of missing people incidences in the Great Falls area of Montana. The newest victim is Mr. Peter Warwick, a stocky 5'7 man described as a bald white male with hazel eyes. With this trend of missing persons, police have deemed these cases as malicious and have changed protocol in search of a possible offender being responsible for the upspike in missing people. If you have any possible information that can lead to aid in finding the person responsible and finding the recorded missing persons, please dial the lifeline of 851-216-135. All right then. Can't go out, we just can't go to sleep. Okay. Who am I? The housekeeper? The housekeeper. So I'm guessing that was the housekeeper. Was it? Hey, my name is Bradley, the developer of The Housekeeper. I'd just like to take a moment to thank you for taking the time to play this game. This was a project for university. I was tasked to develop a game in a semester. With hardly any prior knowledge of C-Sharp and using Unity. Over 200 hours and around 3,000 lines of code later, I was able to create this game with help from my team in around 2 months. I've always enjoyed the PSX style horror games, I agree with that, and challenged myself to try and create a horror game with this style. Hopefully I did well. Once again, thank you for playing and hope you look forward to future projects. I am looking forward to your future projects, so... The credits are there. This was The Housekeeper. It was quite short and... Um, a bit predictable, just a bit though, but it's, it was thoroughly enjoyable and for a first project, uh, for a learning project, this was amazing. You, you're gonna do nice things, so uh, yeah, yeah, keep working on this skill, make more games and uh, stick with the horror, uh, Zandra, I think you have a knack for it. Everybody, go to the link down in the description below, try this game out for yourselves, help indie developers get the games out there. Also, thank you everybody so very much for watching, please consider subscribing, click the like button if you liked the video, click the dislike button if you didn't like the video, leave a nice comment, leave a comment with a suggestion of what you want to see me play next. All those nice things have my channel grow and I really, really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, stay safe. Have fun.